Hamid Kelly must have enjoyed that. Really happy. Um, I think it was a big performance. I think it was a really good football match from both sides. I think Leicester had their moments as well, and, and they did um, a lot of good things in the game. And uh, overall, delighted because we were the result that we wanted. Two goals from Gabriel Jesus, an excellent performance from Alexander Zinchenko. Are you going to be ringing Pep Guardiola up to see if he's got any other players to win for we know what Gabby can do. He scored two assists too, and he's still disappointed in that dressing room because he said he could have scored four. That's the standard, that's the mentality. You want to go to a different level, you need that mentality. Speaking of new signings, Gabriel Jesus, he's pretty frightening for defenders, right? I wouldn't like to play against him. I've never been a defender, but I, I can imagine that they don't enjoy it. He's, he's so mobile, so intuitive and he's always sharp and proactive to to play in any in any moment and any phase of the game and uh, he's a real threat. And the atmosphere was very, very good again within the in the stadium. Do you feel like the fans are as close as ever to you and the team this season? We are telling them I think every day that we play it gets better and better. Um, what they've done today with William Saliba after scoring the own goal is something that in my career I haven't seen. Uh, and that shows the connection and shows the really to be there when it matters and when it's difficult for somebody. And uh, th we should be really proud to play in front of them because that, that was a special. I think that lifted the confidence of Willie and how he played the last minute after that and to the team as well. What were your thoughts on the end goal? Do you think he, we spoke yesterday about paying the bill for mistakes. Does that yeah. count as a mistake? The good thing is you pay the bill, but you don't really pay because you win the football match. So it's much easier to learn um, when that happened. But uh, I'm happier today than I was against Crystal Palace with him because the way he played after that, pff, I think it was incredible. Um, yesterday we spoke about execution of decision making, and I think in the final thirds, I don't think the decision making's been that quick, say last season. Do you think, I guess, how big a difference can that make when you have players who are making those decisions that quick? You, you can see the interaction and the speed of execution. It's, it's a different level now. The rotation can be the same, but the way they can execute it at that speed um, and being that precise is, is completely different. And then it's much more difficult to defend. I know you have like a general structure you want them to play in, but how important is it then playing off instinct as well? Within that structure, within that shape, within that unit, um, you have the freedom to decide and occupy any space, and they know that we work on that every single day. Mikhail, the big question with Gabriel is whether he'll be able to maintain that sort of level throughout the season, because obviously he didn't play as regularly at, at City. Yeah. Do you have any doubts that you'll be able to keep him at that level? That's why we are, we are, that's why we are um, getting him off as well, because I think he's played 18 starts in the last two seasons um, and we're going to demand him to start a lot of games so we have to manage that load when we can the way we train as well is different and uh, and we have to be on top of that and hopefully we are you had 19 shots today you look at Lukaku and Gabby Martinelli they also seem to have been lifted by having Jesus in the middle is he, mm. has his presence really made a big difference to those guys I think he leaves the standards, the way every day he's training, the, the way he's talking today, the way they are connecting. Um, I think it's it's very natural, but at the same time, it's pretty impressive to do it that quickly. But uh, then we are asking other players to score goals as well. Granite is arriving in the box. He should have scored last week. He should have scored two today because he had another header. And that's what we need. If we want to be at the top, we're going to have to score a lot of goals, and we cannot rely on two or three players. You mentioned Granite there. Obviously, He's contributing a lot more to the attack. How important is he to the system in terms of contributing to the attack? He's to play the role that, uh, that we want. And Granny has certain characteristics, but we can develop other characteristics because he has the ability to do it. And, um, and when Fabio Vieira plays in that position, he will have a different role because his qualities are different. And the same with Martin. But uh, the team has to adapt, but the players as well have to have at least playing there the eye on goal and, and having the feeling that I want to score.